Hi, I'm Missy Anderson, the Invasive Species Coordinator at Three Rivers Park District. And today we're going to take a look at another of the plants from the exhibit by Marty Grill called Gone to Seed that's currently at Silverwood Park. So the invasive we're going to look at today is common tansy. You can see the flower stalks from last year here. They're very tall, they're all dried, and right now the only green on the plant is at the base of the plant where the leaves are starting to come out. So we'll take a look at those. Common tansy is a perennial plant, so the leaves are starting to come out. They're very dissected, almost fern-like, and then eventually new flower stalks will be produced. We'll have um, a flat top, round, button-like yellow flowers starting in about July. So the other thing you notice about the leaves, if you break a leaf off, they have a very distinct smell, a very strong medicinal smell, kind of like a cross between camphor and rosemary. So unlike garlic mustard and buckthorn, where the primary goal for control is to stop seed production, common tansy also has a, a rhizome, a creeping root that has to be controlled. So it makes control of the plant a little bit more difficult. Plants can be dug that whole root system can be dug out or they can be pulled repeatedly in order to control them if you have a small patch. If you have a large patch of tansy, you'll have to use different methods to get rid of it. And there's really good information about how to do that on the Minnesota Department of Agriculture website. The Gone to Seed exhibit has lots of other invasive plants besides garlic mustard, common buckthorn, and tansy that we're not including videos for. So go ahead and take a look at that. And I also wanted to mention the stay-at-home weed wrangle. For those of you who are treating invasives near you, you can take a look at the efforts others have been putting in and see how we can work on controlling invasives separately together. Thanks!